the purpose with this was to have a lot of caves at the back for the established calvus that are in this aquarium. And then when I bring out here at the front, hopefully this will help lock the line of sight. Well guys, that wasn't in the brochure. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, I want to show you guys something interesting that's happened recently. So let's get straight into it. So guys, I'm going to be moving this girl back into the aquarium with her other black Altolampologus calvus. She's been in this tank recuperating for a number of months after her massive fight with the male in that aquarium and uh, raising some fry. So really, ideally, I'd catch her without the shell and pop her back in that aquarium. I'm going to do a quick aquascape on the aquarium she's going to go into just to mess up the territories and then I'm going to pop her in there. Uh, but she protects this shell so much that she will protect it with her life. So I'm going to do everything in my power to uh, <laughs> not create another fight in there because she's taken months to get to this stage. And uh, I just really hope she's going to be okay when I introduce her back with her other tank mates. But uh, she really needs other tank mates uh, being in a tank by herself isn't good for her and uh, she doesn't eat as well as when she's with other fish so uh, popping her back in with her other tank mates is really going to do her some good so i'm going to go to the other aquarium now mess up their territories and then pop her in as you can see she sticks to the shell pretty much uh, entirely and it's going to be very hard to separate her from that shell she just associates this shell to her fry so much that she ends up attacking her own fry from the shell so she protects the shell from her own fry uh, and it's not, that's not really good. So anyway, she's a beautiful girl, stunning looking fish, she is fine and uh, we'll see how she goes when I pop her back in with her other tank mates. So this is the aquarium she's going to be going into and I'm going to do a quick re aquascape of this aquarium again just to mess up the territories. Uh, you don't want to reintroduce or introduce new fish to an aquarium that has established territories in it. I know the male that's in this aquarium is pretty aggressive, so I'm going to have to keep a close eye on them to make sure he doesn't kill her. But, yeah, I'm going to do a quick aquascape on this. It's going to look hopefully nothing like this. Get those territories reset, and hopefully we'll have happy days. And you can see the male has just come out now. There's another female. Potentially another female. I'm not sure. Could be a male at the back there. Uh, likes to hide in the darkness at the back of the tank. But yeah, quick aquascape of this aquarium. We'll reset the territories. We'll just give the female, when I introduce her, a fighting chance, literally, to uh, not get harassed in this aquarium as much. So that's what I suggest you guys do. If you're introducing new fish to an aquarium or reintroducing a fish back in with its previous tank mates, change the aquascape. Just change it up. Just make it completely different. Just so uh, the territories are... Um, basically destroyed in short and uh, need to be re-established so she's on a level playing field with all the other fish. So I'm just going to quickly do that now. Okay so guys, I've re-scaped the tank and you can see there's some caves at the back now. Looks a bit different. And then I've got like this kind of cliff face edging uh, to basically block the line of sight. <clears throat> what I intend to do is place the female here I'm going to have to unfortunately put the shell in and because I can't separate her from the shell she just goes straight into the shell whenever I go near the aquarium so I'm going to place her with the shell in here that'll be familiar for her because she's generally always been in the shell at this part of the aquarium so when I do place her in here she'll be familiar with this area and that will help her give her a bit of an advantage over the other calvus that are in this aquarium now they're at the back there I see two large ones right at the back and a smaller one towards the front there and you can see some uneaten uh, green beans from the bristlenose catfish that I do have in this aquarium so the purpose with this was to have a lot of caves at the back for the established calvus that are in this aquarium and then when I bring her here at the front hopefully this will help lock the line of sight from the calvus that have been in here for a few months and her when I reintroduce her basically she'll stay in the shell I'm sure of that and then I'm going to turn the lights off this tank and leave them off for the rest of the day. I don't want to disturb them, I want them to settle in. In darkness would be better, that will stop aggression. And hopefully we'll be okay. And then I suspect they'll spawn within a few days because that's what's happened the last two times I've done this. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Okay guys, so there's the shell. 
she went straight in it like I expected. You can see her tail in the shell. Poor little thing is a little scared. So she'll come out in eventually uh, once she feels comfortable in this tank and she's settled in. She'll eventually make her way out of that shell and hopefully it'll be all A-OK -okay in this aquarium. So now I'm going to do like I said and turn the light off this tank and let them be for the rest of the day. So it's been a week since I put the female back in this tank and you can see she's near the shell obviously and the male is at the back there. Now I've come into the fish room this afternoon and noticed that the shell was on its opening so it was upside down basically the shell no fish could swim in it or out of it uh, the, the opening was against the, the sand bed basically so I've gone and turned it over and guess what I really really can't believe it again guys there's eggs in there and the eggs are newly hatched they are wiggling fry some came out and she was able to put them back in the shell when I turned the shell back over. I think two or three may have come out uh, and there were a number still in the shell so I was grateful that they stayed in the shell. Uh, notice how much weight she has lost since she has spawned. Her stomach is a lot slender now and you can see how aggressive she is with me. She doesn't want me going near the tank. Uh, so that was pretty much the initial sign that I had that they had actually spawned again. Uh, again, I really am surprised that they spawned so quickly after me reintroducing her into this aquarium. And it's in seven days of putting her in here, there are wiggling fry in that shell. So they probably spawned within the first three days of me putting this female back in the tank. And I'm really glad that I messed up the territories because I really didn't want her to uh, get bashed reintroducing her to her other Calvus, black Calvus tank mates and uh, re that reset all the territories in this aquarium and it obviously worked. Now, when I noticed the shell uh, had, it, had the opening closed, that is the opening was on the sand bed, so she couldn't get into the shell, I noticed she was really close to the male. They were not fighting like the last two times they've spawned, or basically the first two times. This is their third time that they spawned. But this time around, she wasn't fighting with the male. The male's staying well away from the female. She's guarding those at that shell and the eggs within it and uh, it's a very very different behavior to the first two times that they spawned so i'm really pleased about that uh, i'm hoping that the aggression uh, doesn't start and it just stays as peaceful as this because it's it's fantastic uh, but i will be eventually again moving her out of this tank with the shell because that's what worked in the past with my black calvus with my white calvus They've got fry in their tank right now as well. I move the fry out and I leave the pair together. Uh, but because in the past this pair have fought, I've had to take the female out. So I'm more than likely going to be doing that again this time around. Now, unfortunately, I can't get too close to the tank because one, it stresses out the female. And two, I can't really see any of the fry anymore. I should have filmed uh, straight away as soon as I turned the shell over, uh, the fry at the opening of the shell but I just didn't think to do it, silly me. But I definitely have fry in there, you can see how much she's guarding that shell and I can't believe how quickly they have spawned. So watching the Calvus female, she's finding that her fry have fallen out of the shell because the shell was turned over again. She's picking them up and spitting them out into the shell, so she's putting them back. Being a fantastic mother. There is one baby left. Let's see if she can see it. Yep, it's right there. She's looking at it. Yep, she's looking at it. Oh, come on, pick it up. Huh? It is right there. She's a little annoyed, so I'm going to back off. Come on. I'm sure she knows it's there. I don't know why her shell keeps turning upside down. Oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> Just as I say it. There she goes. Yep, she got it. She just picked it up. How good is that? What a mum, hey? 
Just picked up all her fry that came out of the shell when I turned it over. And guys, there are loads of fry in that shell. I can't believe it. She is doing a fantastic job. And there's no fights. There's the male over there. Doing really well, getting along, no fights. And this is the eighth day that she's been back in this aquarium after months away from her tank mates. Fantastic stuff. Really happy to see. And this is how she turns the shell over, I suppose. She's trying to move it for some reason. She's dug this massive pit. It's her own doing. I thought maybe there was some fighting going on and just get getting turned over, but she must be doing it herself by mistake. Crazy girl. Well guys, that wasn't in the brochure. I've come home and looked at this shell. Can't see any fry in it. Female's not in it. She's actually in the middle of the tank there with the male. And I've checked the sides of the tank and I notice and I notice that there's some fry. There's an albino bristle nose. Some more fry in the corners. More fry over here. And I understand they are hard to see against the sand. Uh, even I'm struggling to see them on the on the phone. But there are fry. There we go. This one right there in the center. See the eyes? And they're all strewn along the edges of the tanks. So I'm gonna have to do something about this. Like I said, this wasn't in the brochure. I was planning on taking the shell out once I started to see free swimming fry in the shell with the female guarding the shell. I was gonna take her with the shell out of this tank and pop her in the grow out tank on my top row of tanks like I've got up here with my other calves fry. But I've come home and noticed that uh, they've already exited the shell before I ever noticed them uh, any other day. This is the first time I've seen the fry free swimming and they're already out of the shell and the female's no longer protecting them. So my plan is to catch all the large fish out of here, all the adults have done that before, and put them in another tank. So I'm actually going to put them in a tank that I was preparing for my other breeding pair of Neal Amprologosae lupi. So they're actually going to go in this aquarium. So I'm going to move the rocks from the aquarium the calvus, the black calvus are currently in, into here. Catch the black calvus out, put them in here, and then I'll let the fry grow out in this tank for a couple of weeks. Because it's going to be absolutely impossible to try and catch the fry. The other thing I'm concerned about is moving these rocks out, let the sand fall into the footprint of uh, the, the, where the rocks were, so I don't cover any fry. Uh, it's going to be very hard to do. Some of these rocks are quite large, but I, there's no other way of catching the calvus out of this tank. I need, to, I need to actually remove the rocks out and then catch the calvus very quickly before they start to uh, potentially eat any of the fry that are in this aquarium. So we're going to have to do that now. And I'm doing water changes as we speak. So, fun times. So that was way easier than I thought it would be. The female, as I expected, has gone in the shell. You can see her in there. That black spot in that shell is her body. So she's gone in the shell. I'm not concerned with her being in the aquarium with her fry. Her instinct is still to protect those fry, so that's great. So it was a lot easier than I expected. I only had to take out uh, two or three rocks from this aquarium, and then I managed to catch the three adults, uh, Altolimpologus black calvus, that are in this aquarium. There's a total, I have a total of four adult black calvus. The male that I have in that, uh, in that four always spawns with this particular female that's in the shell. So she won't harm her fry for the next couple of days. Uh, I just want to, I was going to take the shell out with her in it and also put it in the tank, but there might still be fry in the shell, so I've decided just to leave it in there for the time being. Uh, over the next few days, uh, she will also, I'll catch her out and move her in with her other tank mates. Look at that guy. Gold, Altolimpologus compressorceps. Got gold head. The whole body of that calvus is gold. Got uh, compressorceps, sorry. Got three of these compressorceps in this tank. And here's the new home for my 
black outer lamp or lagers compress our calvus. <laughs> oh god. And here's the new home for my black outer lamp or lagers calvus. So there's three in here. So they'll be fine. All these tanks are connected to each other and uh, have the same water parameters via the sump. So uh, there's three in this aquarium and they'll be fine in here for the time being. And here you can see the fry having a feed of live micro worms. But there you have it guys, the Black Alto Lamprologus Calvus spawned for me again and like last time, a complete surprise at how quickly they spawned once I put the female back in the tank. Really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment and consider subscribing to the channel. I really would appreciate it. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.